Well, welcome back to Northwest Cooks. I'm Nick Miles, and we're in our Bradley Design and Education Center. And thanks to Cisco, they provided us with another great regional chef. It's Sean Smith from Portland Spirit. And uh, we have also already made a uh, shrimp dish. Our second dish we're making today, Sean, is? All right. Well, for the entree today, we're going to do a chimichurri flank steak. Uh, but first, we need to get our uh, sides started. We're going to do our potatoes first. What I've got here went down to the market. They had a couple cool varieties of potatoes. So we'll take these and cut them down like this. And it looks like we're going to do about six. Water's about boiling. We'll go ahead and dump them in. We just got about uh, two tablespoons of kosher salt in there so that our, we'll season our potatoes while we're, while we're cooking them. Next, what we gotta do, because we gotta get that flank steak marinating, we're both gonna marinate it in half okay. of our chimichurri, and then the other half is gonna go on um, at the end here. So what we need is we're gonna need about a half a cup of garlic. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and get that chopped up here. All right, so those, uh, okay. those all, uh, so we call it rough cut, right? Yeah. Just kind of a rough cut, because what we're going to do is all this is going to come and be chopped up again. You don't want to run this whole thing through a food processor, because what we're getting to here with the cilantro, which we're going to take a whole bunch of that and chop that up too. So now is this, th are these are both cilantro? No, this is a parsley. We're going to chop up about half of the bunch. So then we're going to take and just mince all of this up together. Yes, I'm pulling my hand back at this yep. point. Okay, so just go back and forth across it there a bit. And we're going to throw this into the bowl. Now we're going to get our acid and our oil and our salt in there. So we need the juice of about, for a batch this size, about three limes. Okay. And we'll just have these. Squeeze them down in there. So, so about a teaspoon of kosher salt we're going to put in here. And a little bit of our cumin again, just a pinch and about a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And then we're gonna put about a half a cup of oil in here. So here's the, uh, here's the end result after a couple of hours of being in the refrigerator. See that the, some of the color has come out into the, the marinades, the oil and the lime juice that's in there. Um, this is a flank steak. There are other cuts you can use too. Like I said, pretty intimidating cut of meat from the surface it looks like, but it is they run about two and a half, three pounds, perfect for a family of four or five people. And just a great cut of meat for either searing like we're going to do, um, but especially for barbecuing too. If you oh. can't get a hold of this also, there's one called a, a skirt steak that's a really thin fatty piece that's great for this recipe also. Um, so we're going to start, we're also going to do some roasted vegetables with this. And we're just going to do a real coarse chop on uh, some onions, some tomato, a little zucchini. It's just what was what was around um, right now. So we've got a couple of zucchini. We're just doing a real coarse chop on this stuff for now. We're going to go back and cut them after we've grilled okay. them. Because I I'm doing it for if you wanted to put it on the barbecue. Okay. We're going to do this real rough cut. Um, so again, with our kosher salt, just a little bit over everything, and our pepper. And we'll just do a little bit of the garlic here. So we're just going to mix that around with our vegetables here on the board. Now I'm interested to see how you're going to With a little bit off. of the oil. So we'll so. go ahead and get our onions started here. So those are going to take the longest. And actually with those onions, what we can do since our flank steak is going to have to rest, we'll go ahead and throw the flank steak on okay. and sear it. Get a Oop. different cook all the way through, right? Yeah, a little bit. It just depends on how you do it. You'll have, of course, a little bit more medium well towards the end. So okay. how long do you think on each side of this steak? Three to three and a half minutes on each side. It's looking like just more for one that thick and probably about the same on the onions. The perfect opportunity to show you this. Welcome to our Kitchen Gadget segment, and we're going to show you another piece of equipment in the Bradley Education and Design Center. Here again with Jessica. Jessica, you have a Wolf induction cooker here. Yes. Uh, using induction heat is kind of a, a new thing and a very common thing that we're starting to see in kitchens because of its energy efficiency. This Wolf induction cooktop uses, as we said, induction, which is magnetic reasoning. It actually reacts with the pan much like a microwave reacts with the food. This reacts with the metal on the pan to provide instant heat and also instant no heat. So it provides a nice safe cooking environment for your kitchen. So it's actually the surface doesn't get hot, it heats the pan, and I also understand it's better with energy efficiency, so you kind of get all those things with gas plus a little extra. Induction from Wolf can be seen at the Bradley website, bradleylee.net, or you can go to our website at northwestcookstv.com and find out everything you need to know about the Bradley Design and Education Center. All right, so it looks like we're ready to plate this. 
yeah, we'll get it off the heat here and give it a little time, a little time alone uh, to, to let it rest before we uh, cut into it. So we'll just scrape those off onto there. Then we're going to get our stuff together for our uh, poached potatoes, which we went ahead and poached off. See, they're starting to break a little bit, but that right. purple color is still there um, while our veggies are cooking. So we're just going to need a little bit of shallot. I'm just going to do one of them here. So we'll just put that, uh, that and mint shallot You obviously empty the water off the potatoes there, and so you throw the shallot in. Mm -hmm. And then here I have, you can use almost any chili oil. This is one I use at home. This is an ancho oil, which is dried to see it. Just adds a nice smokiness to it and just a little bit of heat. Um, but any type of chili oil will work just to give it a little bit of, little bit of spice to it. Um, I, just, I just like that extra little bit of smoke that it offers. So we're going to put a couple tablespoons of that to coat it there. And I'm just going to take, since this one's still whole, we want a little bit of the zest off of it. We'll throw that in our pot. And then we're going to take the juice from the other half. All right, so these vegetables, uh, looks like the onions are nearly done. Looks like our onions are there, so we'll, we'll put them over with our flank steak. So showing all vegetables off the off the grill, mm -hmm. and now we're gonna we're ready for the potatoes and ready for some chopping, right? Yep, we're just gonna kind of flash our potatoes to bring that uh, oil and caramelize that orange juice and the zest on there. Um, and while we're doing that, so we'll probably just go. It looks like we got a pretty good size for eating here, so we'll just have these again. We'll just kind of mix these together. And we're going to turn our potatoes very gently. They are already cooked. We're just kind of warming them and caramelizing them here. And now you put these on the on the plate, and then at the end of the show, we're going to serve everything together, right? Yeah, we'll serve everything together. We'll just get these uh, plated up and on our tray, and uh, we'll look at uh, doing our dessert next, which is uh, banana spasta. Banana spasta, yeah, using a, a plantain for it, though. You want to stay with Northwest Cooks? We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.